and actor Jason Priestley. Come on in here. Good to see you, man. Always good to see you. Thank you, too. So we know that you've been super busy with your career. Uh, also traveling with the Children's Safe Drinking Water Program, but today is Makeover Madness, so I have to ask you at least a few grooming questions, okay? okay. Yes. Are you one of those guys that goes into your, your wife's cabinet and you take her stuff, like her moisturizer and her shampoo? No. No. Okay. No. You have your own stuff? Yeah, of course. Okay. They, they make they make such good stuff for men these days. Yes, they and, do. And men men have different needs than women. Men's skin has have has different needs. This is turning into an ad. I has, love it. Has different needs. <laughs> yeah. You know, men have different needs than women. <laughs> yes, they do. They know, they know what I'm talking about. They do know what you're talking about. Okay, well, before we get to uh, the program that you've been involved in that I love, I'm going to ask you a few other questions so we can get to know you a little bit better, okay? Oh. It's going to be rapid fire, okay. so you've got to be fast. Like, okay. don't think about it. Just throw it out there. Okay. okay. Beer or wine? Wine. Beach or mountains? Mountains. Morning or night? Night. Rock or country? <laughs> uh, rock. You're rock. Boxers or briefs? Boxer briefs. <laughs> so diplomatic. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Dogs, you're a dog guy. Yeah. Hockey or golf? Hockey. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's about right. And last but not least, Donna or Kelly? <laughs> uh, Valerie? Valerie. <laughs> nice. Good answer. Good answer. All right, so you have been very busy traveling all over the place. Uh, I know that you were in Dominican Republic recently, and yes. you're there with the Children's Safe Water Drinking Program. So it is all about making sure children have access to clean drinking water, which yes. a lot of us take for granted and assume every child has, and every child does not. So tell us your involvement in this. No, well, I, I, I came on as the ambassador for this program uh, about 11 months ago. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it's a it's a wonderful program. There are a billion people uh, in the world today that don't have access to safe drinking water. Mm -hmm. um, Sixteen hundred children die every day from not having access to safe drinking water. Um, I went down to the Dominican Republic um, this year to to see um, the the program in action. You know, the program is about delivering these uh, these little uh, packets. Each yeah. one of these packets can uh, can purify ten liters of of toxic water. Um, I want to know how family. that works, though. So you it's, just you open the packet and you literally put it in the contaminated you open, water. You open a packet. It looks like a packet of sugar or salt. It's just a white powder, okay. and you put it in 10 liters of toxic water. You stir it up for about 10 minutes, um, and it takes all the toxins, and the toxins sink down to the bottom of the water, and then you filter the water through a through a piece of uh, of of, of, uh, of of cloth. Cloth, yeah. And it and it and you then have drinkable, uh, safe, drinkable water. That's um, and and just uh, having access to that kind of water um, uh, for for people in the developing world is is such an unbelievable gift and something that if they don't have it, you know, just the, the you know the gastrointestinal problems that these people have to deal with on a daily basis. It's, it's, it, ma it makes it so difficult difficult for them to, to, to lead their normal lives. Um, it's really, it, it, it really, you know, the kids can't go to school, the parents yeah. can't go to work, you know, it's, it's really, it's really detrimental on, on so many uh, different levels. And, and you, know, for, you know, for us, it's really hard to imagine, you know, we have such an abundance of, of clean, safe water in this country that it's really hard to imagine that, uh, that in these other places people just don't have it. I imagine that as a father, there must be something that really resonates with you when you go out there and you're you're meeting all these incredible children uh, yeah. around the world. Is that why you first got involved? What what made you get involved in this particular project? Well, it was it was it was the kids, you know, and, and having kids myself, and, and you know, the thought of not being able to provide safe drinking water for my children yeah. um, would be, you know, I, like I, can't, I couldn't even imagine that. And, and, you know, once I started to really, you know, un understand the numbers and, and, and the, the level of, the, the level of, of this problem, mm -hmm. um, you know, the, not having access to safe drinking water uh, kills more children every year than HIV, AIDS, and malaria combined. Unbelievable. Um, yeah, it's really, it's, it's really, really a, a terrifying thing. And, um, you know, it, uh, you know, this, this program, um, 
Uh, P&G and Walmart have made it very easy for everyone to, to participate in this program. All people have to do is go to Walmart or walmart.ca, mm -hmm. buy the P&G products that we all use uh, every day, Tide, Swiffer, Febreze, things like that, and P&G will donate one day of safe drinking water to a family in the developing world. So when it comes to the numbers, the goal was to get to a certain amount of days of clean drinking water, mm -hmm. and the goal has almost been met. It's, we've almost done it. Yeah, we wanted to get to 25 million days of safe drinking water this yeah. year. Mm -hmm. um, we're at 21 million right now. So close. Um, we've got about six weeks left in the in the year since since I came on as the ambassador. Yeah. So I just really wanted to encourage everybody to, to try to, to to get out there and and and, and buy their, their P and G products at Walmart and uh, and hopefully we can get to the 25 million mark by the end of March because that was uh, that was the goal that we set for ourselves. Well it's such an easy way to help. You know we're all going a shopping anyways for these products so it makes a lot of sense. I want to talk a little bit about the kids now, your kids. Yes. So how old are they? Uh, Ava's seven, Dashiell's five. Seven and five. Yeah. So are we talking Lego and Barbies? Uh, what are the big What are the big things uh, they're into right yeah, now? Yeah, Legos. Legos really big. Um, Barbie's really big. They're both really big in gymnastics right now. Oh, that's uh, cool. As well, yeah. So that's a, that's a big thing, and uh, they're both on the swim team. You know, I like, I like to keep them. I like to keep them active. Yes. If you you know if you get them out and you get them active, you can you know burn them out. Yeah. And then they don't. Uh, and then they go to then, sleep then they and go stuff to sleep. at a reasonable sleep, hour. Sleeping sleeping kids are happy kids. Yeah. Sleeping you, ki sleeping kids lead to happy parents. Do yours sleep in? Because mine don't. <laughs> no. Okay. Never. What are we talking? 7 a.m. 6:30. 6:30. Oh, same with me. Yeah. What is up with that? I don't know. It doesn't matter how tired they are. No. no. 6:30, 6:15. Those little eyeballs open. Yep. Gosh. It's okay, unbelievable, well, isn't no, it? No, I'm happy but, to but hear. But it's not going to last long. Apparently, by the when they get to be teenagers, yeah. you can't get them out of bed. <laughs> I do remember that. That's <laughs> true. It's just good to know that a uh, Canadian actor and this beautiful philanthropist is going through the same parenting issues most of us are. So yes. thank you very much, Jason <laughs>